This is the Aurora 88 fountain pen. It's the 88 large. It's quite a large fountain pen, but it's really beautiful. Um, traditional styling, you can see that by um, just looking at it. It's got the bulbous clip, and it's just a um, Y-shaped here. Two gold rings along either edge of the cigar-shaped cigar pen. Also, I don't know if you can see it, but really lightly engraved here in the middle of the cap band is the word Aurora for the brand. When we remove the cap and post it, um, you can see there's an ink window here, and uh, it works really well. I've got green ink in it right now. That's why you see that green tint. And it's a 14 karat gold nib, and I believe it's the same exact nib as they use on the Optima. At least it feels the same. Um, it's a beautiful writer. Um, and Aurora Medium, I'm discovering, is more like a, um, I guess they're fine, I'm sorry, is more like a medium in terms of how it writes. So I'll show you that in a second. By the way, it posts really well. I am a poster, and it's hard to find pens that post as well as this one does without any hand fatigue. It's really well balanced. The black resin body um, doesn't make it top heavy when it posts. It is a big pen, like I said, it's 134 millimeters when it's capped and 154 when it's posted, so it's quite a big pen. 10 millimeters at the uh, grip point and an oversized nib here. So let me show you how it writes. Oops. It keeps up with anything you're going to throw at it. I didn't have any problems with this pen. Um, it's one of my favorites I've used. Um, the, like I said, the nib is just wonderful. It is a little thicker than you would think, so if you'd normally like a fine, you'll see that the medium's a little thicker than that. You might want to go extra fine, but it's a beautiful writer. No ink starvation, no skipping, no hard starting. I just, I really thoroughly enjoyed this pen. So if you want to see a more detailed review and pictures, you can check it out on my website at bestfountainpen.com.